Hello and welcome back to another Technology Guru video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to link an associated website to your YouTube channel. There are a number of reasons as to why you would want to do this. The main one being that you can link to this website and all of its sub pages within your YouTube videos. So if you are creating a video and you're wanting to link out to a product on your website or for people to go sign up for your mailing list, you can do that directly within YouTube by linking an associated website. So what you'll need to do is go on over to your YouTube channel, make sure you're logged in, and then go on over and click on your channel icon in the upper right hand corner, and then click on the Creator Studio link there underneath your channel name. Then go down to where you see channel right underneath the community link there. And then below that you're going to see under the last option is going to be called advanced. Click on the advanced link there. Scroll on down until you see something that says associated website. So basically what you're going to want to do here is go ahead and type in your URL or the address you want people to go to, the website you want linked up to your channel, and then click the add button to the right side of that box. Then it'll have an orange dot there that says pending. So the next step is going to be for you to verify that you actually own that website. There are a number of ways of verifying that you own the website. Click on the verify link there below the box where you just typed in the URL. Then it's going to show you here in the box the different methods that you can use to verify your website. The recommended one is the HTML file upload. If you're not too good with HTML and you don't know too much about the back end of your website, you might want to click on over to the alternate methods here on the next tab and then it'll show you here domain name provider, Google Analytics, Google Tag Manager, the one that I used was my domain name provider. And then I just went down, I selected GoDaddy just like this here. Uh, and then basically it says, you know, it'll give you the step-by-step -step tools of how in the world to do all of that. So go through those steps, go ahead and verify that you own the website. And then once you're done, it'll look like this here. And as you can see, once you have verified that you own the website, it will change from orange and the word will now say success. So it should say green and then have the word success. You can always remove the website if you get a new URL and then add that one as well. So as you can see here, here's my URL green button success. So now whenever I go to a video, so I'm going to go ahead and navigate over to my video manager, and then I'm going to go ahead and click on my most recent video here, just like that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how you can link to your website from within the video. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to go to the cards option here underneath the YouTube video. So I can edit my YouTube cards, we can go ahead and go to add card. And then what we're going to want to do is go to link to an approved website. So the only website that you're going to be able to link to from within the video is going to be the one that you had approved in our previous steps. So click the create card button there, then you're going to be able to select a site that you have had approved. So we're gonna go ahead and click our site there. And the beauty of it is, as long as it has that base domain name that you got approved, you can link to any sub page of your website. So whatever pages you have on your website that you want to link to, you can do that directly here from in the, within the cards option, click on next, just like that there, it will then transfer for to the next phase and it'll give you a little image that you might want to show up on the video. And then if you click the blue button that says create card, it will then create that YouTube card for people to look at. And as you can see here, they can click on that link uh, on desktop and in the future on mobile to be directed to your associated website. So that's how you link a website to your YouTube channel. I hope you guys got some value out of that. If you did, go ahead and like this video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And guys, as always, thank you so much for watching my videos and I will see you guys in the next. Thank <laughs> you.